Hello and welcome back to another Hawaiian shirt guy unboxing. Today we have a Doctor Who collector booster and also I have my sonic screwdriver. So we are gonna go ahead and get this thing ripped open. Hope you guys are doing well. It has been kind of an interesting, uh, little interesting weather we have here. I think we got about seven inches of snow over night so it is a uh, it's a little cold outside so you know what perfect day to be home and crack open some of these boosters so we'll go ahead we'll get these down here and we will start opening well i guess the easiest and first question is always going to be do you watch doctor who are you a whovian are you a fan of the bbc network i am a sucker for anything on bbc i really love everything that they end up doing alien warrior Ooh. we'll say that's our token swamp card here oh beautiful swamp look at that and we got the tardis hiding in the background there absolutely fantastic the second doctor very cool not the doctor i know but ashad alone cyberman very cool very very cool return to dust beautiful soul ring wow look at how beautiful that is i think they've made soul ring i don't know about seven billion times by now but every single time i see a soul ring i'm always so impressed by how beautiful it is and also it doesn't hurt that it's cost one <laughs> it's a fantastic card Feel like uh, there's a lot of people who absolutely hate Soul Ring because of how uh, how often you uh, see it. Oh, another Doctor! Fantastic! I'm loving this artwork. Choked Estuary, the third Doctor. Very cool Surge Foil there. Grasp of Fate, another beautiful Surge Foil. Bessie the Doctor's Roadster. Very cool. Rose Tyler, fantastic. The Eighth Doctor. Man, I will have to go back and actually look at some of these uh, older Doctors. I uh, I think the first Doctor I started with was the Eleventh Doctor. And he was absolutely fantastic. I believe the name was Matt Smith. And just absolutely fabulous. I know a lot of people loved the Tenth Doctor, which was David Tennant. And you know what? Nothing but good things to say about him, a.k.a. Barty Crouch, and all the other things that he uh, he does. Again, wow, look at how beautiful these lands are. I might just try to turn down a little bit of the, uh, the color. Maybe that's a little too intense, but uh, absolutely beautiful. The first Doctor, Dalek Squadron. <laughs> I really like these search foils, beautiful. Exotic Orchard, never a bad card to have in a deck. Ecstatic Beauty. Okay, so this is actually probably my favorite episode is the Vincent Van Gogh episode. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Absolutely beautiful. Bigger on the inside. <laughs> Very cool. Make your own joke. Kalara Oswald, fantastic. Smoldering Marsh, fantastic. The Eighth Doctor, We've got a little bit of a different art there. Prairie Stream, very, very cool. Crack in Time. Thespian Stage, Astrid Path. Wow, <laughs> look at how pretty those are. The Fourth Doctor, very cool. The Ninth Doctor, <laughs> very neat. Now, if you're a Whovian, you probably know this way better than I do, but I believe if I'm not mistaken, um, he was the guy who kind of became Doctor Who and then was like, yeah, I'm completely over this. <laughs> I feel like most of the other people really enjoyed being Doctor Who, but I think he was the one that was like, yeah, you know what? I, uh, I don't need this in my life. Another beautiful uh, Doctor Who land. There we go. That is my Doctor there. The 11th Doctor, fantastic. Justina, absolutely fantastic. Temple of the False God. The first Doctor, Clock Spinning, River Song, oh, another fantastic character. The Master Multiplied, 
I've heard this card is fantastic in Commander. Root Bound Crag. Hello, sweetie. Oh, man, I remember that one as well. That was another fantastic episode. Pretty much any episode that has all of the... Uh, any Matt Smith and River Song is absolutely beautiful. Sundown Pass. That's a beautiful one. We're definitely going to put a case on that. Time Reaper. Holy cow. You know what? I will say the one tricky thing about these foils is it makes it really hard. <laughs> uh, I mean, how could you not take that guy home? That's a beautiful little alien. But the one tricky thing about these uh, foils I'm seeing is that, unfortunately, they're really hard to get on camera. Maybe I just have my lights uh, a little too intense, but they're a little hard to uh, completely uh, make out some of the beautiful art. So I might have to, uh, after I'm done with this video, fiddle around with my lights and see, is it the color? Is it the brightness? What on earth is going on? Another forest and another uh, wonderful TARDIS hiding off in the background. Absolutely fantastic. The Tenth Doctor, fantastic. Ah, David Tennant. So I believe if I'm not mistaken, everybody says that whichever doctor you start with, that they end up being your favorite doctor. Is that true? Is there anybody who started with one and said, you know what, I really don't like him, and uh, I never, oh, look at that, a wedding ring, fantastic. Pandorica, oh, another fantastic episode. If you haven't watched Doctor Who, Ace, look at you, buddy. If you haven't watched Doctor Who, <laughs> I'm just going to go play some cricket, I guess. Davros, Dalek creator. Very cool. Oh, my goodness. I think these are my favorite episodes. The uh, Alien Angel is absolutely terrifying. But I think those might be my favorite episodes. But, yeah, um, everybody seems to say that whichever doctor you start with, that ends up being your favorite doctor. And everybody else, you just kind of compare them against them. And I started with Matt Smith, and so he's kind of my guy. But that being said, I've heard that David Tennant just absolutely knocks it out of the park. And uh, you know what? I think that every iteration kind of has its own kind of unique quirks. Wow. <laughs> Getting out to play some uh, some cricket. Fantastic command tower, thriving heat, nano gene conversion into the time vortex. The art on these are just fantastic. I uh, am really looking forward to just seeing all the different iterations of them. I was looking online, kind of trying to figure out what are some of the the really good cards. What cards are uh, you know just okay? And uh, another beautiful land. I love that. I'm in a cemetery. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the most terrifying. We're going to go ahead and put a case on that. And also probably just don't blink. If you haven't seen the episodes with the Weeping Angels, um, first off, check them out. Second off, don't do it right before bed because you are probably going to have trouble sleeping. But, uh, oh my gosh. That is a fantastic card. I love the Weeping Angels, but... As far as like horror movies go, I'm not a big horror movie fan, but I will say that the way that they do horror in that, it's it's manageable and it's scary. And I think that the reason that it does such a good job of being scary and terrifying is because it kind of lets your mind play tricks on you instead of just having some big bad monster that uh, you're supposed to look at and go, oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Kind of lets you uh, play into Letting your mind play tricks on you. Beautiful forest. The Eighth Doctor. Temple of Epiphany. Oh my gosh, these are just beautiful. Time Wipe. Sky Cloud Expanse. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Throws of Chaos. Time Reaper. Ooh, terrifying looking. Solemn Simulacrum. Oh, he just looks like he needs a friend. Scattered Groves. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, that is a very terrifying looking insect. I apologize, it kind of gets a little washed out by the, the color of my lights, but absolutely beautiful. Sunbaked Canyon, again, a beautiful, beautiful card. The Master Multiplied, the Fugitive Doctor, a Dalek. 
but I hope you are all having an absolutely wonderful end to your January. Um, yeah, up where I am, we are getting a decent amount of snow. So I had to go outside with the snowblower this morning and hopefully you guys are staying nice and warm and toasty. But uh, if you are having snow, how much snow did you get? <laughs> I thought six or seven inches was a decent amount, but you know what? There are definitely people that get the lake effect snow. Oh my gosh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, look at how beautiful that is. The sixth doctor, Gallifrey Council Chamber, Temple of Plenty, Rogue Passage, Nardole. Huh, don't think I know which episode he's in. Sarah Jane. Glacial Fortress. Beautiful. Bill Potts. Fractured Identity. Ah, oh, good old Clara. The Five Doctors. Irrigated Farmland. The Flux. Another fantastic card. The Master of Galfrey's End. K9 Mark I. <laughs> Look at that guy. Fantastic. But yeah um i i know that uh certain parts of the country you probably aren't getting snow right now so i will say on behalf of my wife enjoy it <laughs> she uh woke up today looked outside and looked at me and said what the heck are you kidding me she uh grew up with much warmer winters so i get it it is very surprising when you are used to nice warm 70 degree winters and uh, all of a sudden you wake up and there's like seven inches of snow outside and you're like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> the parting of ways. Beautiful. Me, the immortal. Very cool. Rory. Absolutely fantastic. Partner with Amy Pond, as he should be. Fantastic. My wife's really going to enjoy seeing that card. That's fantastic. Donna. Catacombs. Dalek Drone, Shipwrecked Marsh. Yeah, it's a little hard to see. I do apologize, but I think it has to do with this Surge Foil, the 12th Doctor. Fantastic. The 5th Doctor, copy. Very cool. So I think we're right about the halfway point here. We've seen some really cool cards. I know that as far as for value is concerned, I think any sort of dinosaur seems to be really good. And besides that, that kind of that surge treatment, holy cow, these packs are, they did not want anybody to just break these open on accident. But as far as uh, good cards, any of the doctors in the surge foil are, are pretty good. The serialized cards and then uh, the dinosaur cards. So we are looking for a surge foil doctor. We are also, Looking for any cool dinosaur. Hey, Rory, doing great, my man. Talisman of Impulse, the first doctor. Temple of Triumph, Dalek Drone. As foretold. Oh man, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. <laughs> Temple of Plenty, Dalek Squadron, the sixth doctor, Cyberman Patrol. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right. But we are looking for those surge foil doctors. I think there are even a couple of them that are serialized if you really get super lucky. But you know what? I'm just kind of enjoying the art, getting to see some really cool cards, and uh, just kind of spending time with all of you. So I hope you're having a wonderful time. Oh my gosh, just absolutely really beautiful. So if this motivates you to go ahead and watch Doctor Who, I totally encourage it. It's awesome. But uh, you know what? If you just like watching this and get some, uh, some relaxing uh, feeling, I uh, completely recommend just enjoying uh, the video and having a great time. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. Rose Tyler. Hello, Rose. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and put a sleeve on that one. And also the 10th Doctor. Those are two cards that I definitely wanna look at a lot closer when I, uh, when I get time to. Dr. 
Doctor's Companion and the Tenth Doctor. What is your favorite De David Tennant movie or TV show? There is a ton to pick from. He is just a fantastic actor. I, uh, I'm trying to think of what he was in recently that I thought he did a really good job in. I think it was uh, Good Omens, an Amazon Prime TV show. He did a really great job in there. And who would have been his, uh, his uh, the guy playing across from him? I believe it was oh, Martin Sheen. Is it Martin Sheen? Oh, man. I apologize if I messed that one up. But <laughs> 12th Doctor, fantastic. Dalek Squadron, Duggan, Idris, Lighthouse. Very cool. Podium. Confession, Sunbake Canyon, Traverse. One second, I'm gonna cough, I apologize. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh. Temple of Deceit, I love that. <coughs> River of Tears. Seventh Doctor, the Sixth Doctor, and a copy. Oh man, the lands in this are once again just so beautiful. It's one of those things that you know, magic. Sometimes you're just like, oh, I, I need a land, I need a land, I need a land, and that's all you're thinking about when you're playing the game. Or you're thinking, oh my gosh, stop giving me lands, I need anything but this. But you know what? Seeing cards and seeing how beautiful this artist did a great job, Oliver fantastic I love it I might have to fiddle with my lights a little bit see if I can make these surge foils not so washed out I think I've got a collector booster box from uh, Lord of the Rings and so hopefully before I do that I can get this all kind of tightened up and looking a little bit better because it definitely looks a little washed out but we are on our last box third doctor blink Crisis of Conscience, Glacial Fortress, Temple of Mystery, Osgood, Shipwreck Marsh, Jamie, River of Tears, Ryan Sinclair, Sheltered Thicket, Frostboil Snarl, Yasmin, The War Doctor, fantastic, and an alien rhino. So I don't think we got any of the dinosaurs there, but we did get a lot of really cool lands and honestly seeing some of those really neat uh, doctors is always just kind of a delight but we got some beautiful lands we got the 10th doctor rose tyler flux some beautiful beautiful cards with sweeping angel and uh also this beautiful soul ring all right well thank you so very much you all have an absolutely wonderful day i am the uh Hawaiian shirt guy unboxing. Woo! I'm trying to show off this Hawaiian shirt. And uh, <laughs> I'm over in seven inches of snow right now. So luckily I am staying nice and toasty inside and hopefully you are too. All right. Thank you.